Okay, this is going to be a quick uh, overview of the quick fill report packet for doing wind mitigations, four points, and roof inspection reports. So let's go into it real quick and I'll show you what uh, this entails. This is your report. This is one that I've done up just for doing this demonstration. And uh, it, it contains all three, the wind mitigation, the four point, and the roof inspection. Uh, the, all of your reports are all in one document. If you scroll through here, you can see I've done all the reports. We'll get down into the four point. There's the wind mitt, there's the four point, and then there's a the roof inspection down here at the bottom. Um, what you can do is turn these on or off. If you just want to work with a four point, you turn off this one, you turn off this one, and then all you have is the four point. If you want to Go back to just work with the wind mitt and turn off the four point. You end up with just the wind mitt. For this demonstration, I'm just going to keep these all on for the moment. Okay. And so one of the first things that I want to show you is on the left hand, up in the upper left hand corner, this will be empty when you get yours. That is my logo. You can just put in any JPEG logo in there. It has to be a JPEG. Do not use a PNG. This side over here, this is all going to be pre-filled custom for you guys when you order the forms. Now on the wind mitigation, when you fill out the address and all this information here, uh, and the contact info, it's going to auto fill all the way down into the um, four point inspection and the roof inspection as well. It doesn't work in reverse, so whenever you're starting out writing your reports, always just kind of turn on the wind mitt and when you put in your address and uh, general information about your client, fill it in here, it'll automatically fill to the others. Um, on drop down menus, it doesn't matter what which drop down menu it is. If it's just a regular drop down menu where you have some choices here to make, if you want, you can put in anything that you like. We allow custom drop custom entry into all the drop down menus. Okay, and that does not only apply to these simple drop down menus. That also applies to date drop down menus. If you don't want to use a date here and just use a simple date, you don't have to. You can actually put in something else there if you'd like. Um, and we leave those, some of these you'll notice are really nice and long because sometimes people might want to put in a date here and a permit number or something of that nature. So we make that available. Um, also, uh, when you come down into the photos, Scroll down here real quick. Let's go down into this area here. Okay, we're down into the four point area. All right, let's turn off the wind mitt so we're not going back and forth. And when you get into your photos, one of the nice things about the photos here is say you have your photos in here, generally just adding them is as simple as clicking and grabbing another photo. Let's see, let me get into where. Okay, and you can just add a photo um, pretty simply like so. All right, and you see I added that one there. Um, if I want, I need to go get that other one back, and there it is there. So, and if you want to add more photos here, every time you click the little add button here, it'll put in another empty um, photo or image field for you. You can also just delete them and it will delete whichever one you hit the delete button on, it hit, hits the delete. If I wanted to add a photo right in the middle, like right after this picture between these two, just go to the previous one where you wanna put it, just put add, and it will stick one in between those two photos. Delete that one. Now another nice thing here, for you guys that are back from the insurance industry, you know we always used to put in the address verification in the wind mitts and the four points. Most people don't do that. I still have that old habit. But let's just say you're out of order. I wanted this to be the first picture. So right here, you can just move left and up and just tap it a couple of times and it will move it on to the position that you want it. Okay, so you can move and delete and add photos at your will. Also, coming down in here, I want to show you, you can add electrical panels. Uh, quite often, the original forms always only showed uh, two electrical panels, but I can add 
as many electrical panels here as I like. Okay, so if you have a bunch of them, you can get you can add them all in there and not try have to try and figure out how to add panels. Uh, same thing with HVAC system. Here we have an HVA system. It says system one of one. And I have some photos in there for this dummy that I set up. But watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to add an HVAC system right up here by hitting this button. And it's going to do a couple of things. It's going to go ahead and add an HVAC system here. Give me a couple of photos. I can add more photo fields as I need. Uh, but also it changed things. Rather than one of one, it says one of two. And it says two of two. We also left a field right here so that you can type something in if you like in order to clarify where that HVAC is. That's the upstairs one or downstairs one. Um, or you can just leave a blank. It doesn't matter. So, and then if I accidentally hit that and I really didn't need to, I just hit delete and it'll take that one out. So then we're gonna come down a little bit further into the plumbing section. What if you have more than one water heater? Happens all the time. So we can add water heater and delete water heaters. I can add a water heater here and bam, now we have two sections, one of two and two of two. I can go three of two or three of three and we can delete those also at the same time. Another feature that we added into the uh, water heater section is we have yes and we have no on the relief valve. As you guys know, a lot of the um, uh, tankless water heaters, they don't even have them. The manufacturer's instructions say they don't need them. Uh, of course, that changes with the local municipality code. But either way, just in case you wanted to market that way, you want to market NA, it's not, not applicable, you can. Okay. The other thing we did is water, we put in the water lo the uh, location here as the other the original forms did. And then we also put in a uh, water heater year here. So you can either pick something from the drop down list or you can just type it in. And then the last thing that's really pretty neat, come on down here to the roofing section. And we have, we can add a roof type and delete roof types. So if we only have two roof type sections or two roof type sections, you know, on the original form, say you have three types, you can add them. So right here, we just have the one, but you can go ahead and add a roof type. And you're gonna find actually rather than having, you know, the split in two, we have we just took that section that was much longer and we just put the bottom half over here. So it's all the exact same information and you put the photos for that roof section right underneath that roof section um, information. Same thing here. And you can just, and then you have your photo sections here. Um, and you can add photos as you want. And this would be the second, the secondary roof type, okay? And then if you add another one, um, it's gonna end up saying, you know, your third roof type. So, and you can get rid of them too, as you need to. And that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, the forms are very efficient. You can get through them very quickly. I have other videos on other things. I'm sure you have questions. Okay, how do I save it? How to print to PDF? How do I lock them? How do I reduce the size of them? Uh, there are videos on all of that. Uh, we can print these out so that you're printing out the individual reports. This is all set up so you can do so. And you want to print them out that way. I would not want to send a uh, thing with the reports all connected to the insurance agencies. Uh, they're not used to that. It's going to confuse them and it's going to have you to do double work. But you can do it however you like. You do you. But if you have any questions, you can call me. My name is Neil, 386-785-4380. And I am a home inspector just like you. I'm a full-time home inspector. And um, so I have been doing this for a good number of years. If you have any questions about the forms or anything about doing inspections, please feel free to give me a call.